to another episode of the Kevin Madal Show. So, I know I said I was going to do a Troy review about the other, like the other day, <clears throat> but I forgot about it and not, so I'm doing it now. So, I love the movie. I mean, I I don't know if it's pure pure nostalgic for me or maybe because I I've always loved that Greek mythology but um to me rewatching it whether it's on a DVD or Netflix, which I pretty much watched it off of, because I don't have the DVD, but, um, I just got brought back to that, like, yes, maybe, yes, they stuck true to the mythology of the end of Troy. Now... I love Greek mythology and stuff like that. For those who don't know. But um for those who do know, you pretty much already know. But um <clears throat> The Helen of Troy is pretty much what it's oh, technically what the premise is about is how, what caused the events of Troy to pretty much be burned or destroyed. Now, Troy, back in like ancient Greece, was more of like, it was more Kind of like the World Trade Center of like ancient Greece. It was like the New York City of ancient Greece. Pretty much, kind of, if you want to look at it that way. But, um, they, they, Troy, in ancient, in ancient Greece, they, they were. Pretty much the top dogs, the tr the Trojans. They were like the big boys, the big dogs, the the big bosses. Or yeah, technically. So with that said, when you go to war with the big boys or the big dogs or what not, you're gonna run into some problems. How do you do that? You, how do you, the, the question that has plagued people for years is, is, what do we do with a city that's on, brink, on the bridge of corruption? Do we wait it out, or do we go for the attack? The, the answer to that is do both. Go for the attack, but also wait until you see what needs to be done. And that's pretty much what it is. That's all the movie is about, is... How do we survive this war that's literally about to dis either destroy our, what we, what I built, what me and my brothers built, or how do we stay one? How do we survive further into next 
millennia or the next century. That is the true, that's what I think the true purpose of Troy was, uh, was about in the movie version. But they stuck to the mythology in such an impacting way that you can't just not look back and just like, oh, that was a shitty movie. Why did they do it this way? Why do why did they do it that way, you know? And they stuck... What impressed me the most... The first time, the second time, and so on and so forth... Every time I see this movie... I think... Huh. That could have... That horse that they brought in looked pretty big but how big could it really have been in those times before we heard about before the real in real ancient Greece not the movie version in that time frame, you know, because everybody wanted in that time frame, everybody wanted to please the gods or goddesses, whatever god or goddess you were pleasing, you had to show respect, you had to make a name for yourself, whether you whether you were a warrior a Fighter, an artist, um, a slave. You had to please both your city, your country, and the gods. Those were the, and your women. Those were the, those are the four things you had. To please. In a way. And. This movie. Takes. Three. Things. In it. You had to have. You had. Great battle sequences. You had a good storyline. And you had. A great cast. But not the not only those three things. The development was pure fantastic for an early two thousands movie, <clears throat> and that to me makes everything transcend so much better, even though the. Even though the <clears throat> action sequences, well, the, the um, the what am I trying to say? Even though the thing is kind of outdated, the even though the special effects kind of look outdated. It still looks good for how long, how old it is as a movie. But all, all that aside, it holds up in not only mythology, but about mythology. Greek mythology. And that is what makes it work. So that's all I have for you guys today. Please like, subscribe, and have a good day. More reviews later, or soon, I will be doing a review on Season 1 of The Gifted. Very, very soon, next Monday, because 
it is going to be the season finale of season one of The Gifted. Then, who knows? Pretty soon, more reviews. Right, anyways, gotta go. Thanks. Have a good day.